I want to understand, Shamath, how you decide what to invest in. Do you believe, and this is a subject that's come up on your podcast, your All In podcast, do you believe in fundamentals? Or has been, as has been argued, a stock can trade wherever, regardless of whether it is or isn't hinged you know, to the fundamentals of the underlying business. Well, maybe I can just give you an insight into how I process any opportunity. Sure. Company, random company comes in uh, to the top of the funnel. Immediately, I'm making a very quick, hopefully it's a decision, but maybe sometimes it's a judgment. Um, and I'm asking myself, does this fit into my worldview or not? Meaning, is it, is, it, is it in my circle of competence? And I have a very simple way of looking at this. Is it going to fix something in a quality that I think is important, or is it going to fix something in climate change that I think is important? Those are the only two things I care about. Inequality and climate change. Under inequality, there's a bunch of stuff. Financial equality is important. Healthcare equality is important. Education equality is important. So it allows me to organize a lot of different opportunities. Um, and I'm trying to figure out, is there a consumer proposition here that's important for them? Does it make something more symmetric? Does it take something that was asymmetric and fix it? So that's my first judgment, which is qualitative. That's why whenever I start my one pagers, it's always, what is the strategy? And you can read all of these one pagers now. And what you'll get away from them is the first lens is equality and or climate change. Then I start to do the fundamental work. And you know, this is where I have a real issue with a lot of people who say that they're value investors. I think that I'm a value investor. Um, the thing is that when you look up the word value in the dictionary, it doesn't mean cheap. It doesn't mean a cigar butt with two puffs left. You know, that famous Buffett Mug Munger quote. I think it actually means something that has value. And so then I'm really thinking about, you know, what are the cash flows of this business? How does it create a moat? right, meaning in software, some technological way that's hard for people to compete with it. And then can I get it for a price where there's a margin of safety, where if they mis-execute for a quarter or if they have a little hiccup, it's gonna be okay. Because you know we've got an entry point where five or 10 years from now, this thing will be five to 10 times bigger. And that's how we think about all these things. And if you look at the deals that I've done, they kind of map pretty singularly one-to-one -to, -one to that um, framework.